BMW i8. The BMW i8 can be identified by its unique shape, markings, and vehicle badging. To make the BMW i8 safe you must disconnect the high and low voltage systems that are located in the front trunk, with a secondary high voltage deactivation option at the rear of the vehicle. To open the front door, try the outside handle. If accessible, you can try the inside door button. There is also a manual lever that is on the top of the door in line with the window. Lift this up and slide the red toggle underneath to pop the door open. Access to the vehicle can also be gained using the key fob. Clicking the keys unlock icon once to unlock the vehicle. If you need access to the rear seats, the front seats can be tilted forward. Immobilize the vehicle by blocking the wheels, and then pushing park switch to activate the parking brake. Ensure the system is off by checking the driver's heads-up display for the word ready. If the system displays ready, press the start-stop button once to switch it off. To open the front trunk, there are two methods. The first method is to pull the release cable next to the driver's seat. The second requires you to open the passenger door, unclip the plastic and pull the wire outwards towards the seat. To disconnect the high voltage system, unlock disconnection lock 1 and pull out. Then pull plug 2 for high voltage disconnect apart, in the direction of the arrow. The high voltage system is deactivated when hole 1 is clear all the way through. To disconnect the low voltage system you need to disconnect the 12V battery that is also located in the front trunk. The secondary high voltage system is located in the boot. To access the boot, press the boot icon on the driver's side door controls or press the boot icon on the key. Open the panel on the passenger's rear side, and locate the emergency responder tab. Using the cutting solution, cut the emergency responder tag as indicated to deactivate the secondary high voltage system. If you need to access the fuel tank there is a button on the driver's door controls. There is also a manual release, located in the rear side panel on the driver's side. Thank you for watching Rescue Sim.